to give you a scale for what a paper machine is, you could easily have north of 5,000 sensors, and that's on a low end, in, in one paper machine. That paper machine can you know, produce hundreds of thousands of records of data on a daily basis that we analyze to figure out what's working, what's not, why it's not working. Um, you know, a paper machine, it could be the size of a football field. It's a fairly complex uh, set of equipment that you know, requires a lot of different processes, different subject matter expertise to be able to produce, you know, thousands of tons of paper on a, on a daily basis. There's a lot of debate on, is digital really valuable? Is this, you know, adding value to the bottom line? Honestly, from my seat on the bus, not doing digital transformation it's really not an option. From a data scientist point of view, especially one who's working in, you know, industrial IoT, um, you know, the, where time series are generated uh, in real time and they're often very large and you need to make sense of that data, you really don't have a choice. It is a real value driver. The thing that I enjoy most, and this is, this is relevant for all manufacturers, is the ability to combine various data sources into a platform and not only just do that, but make it happen in real time and make it work in real time. That to me is the most exciting and most fulfilling part of our collaboration between Georgia Pacific and C3 AI. When we collaborate with C3, we have data scientists who are really good at what they're doing and that really allows us um, GP data scientists to bounce off ideas of, of one another and come up with a good strategy to tackle a, a huge complicated problem. What I would say to anyone who's on the fence or considering C3 AI is it really is an industrial strength data science platform. We are able within one platform able to combine data engineering, data science, deployment, real-time scoring, visualization in one tool. The other part which is so key to manufacturers is the ability to combine data sources that we had only dreamed about before. To me that led to increased model improvement, better accuracy, better uptime eventually on our assets, and again the, the reduced unplanned events, the thing that guides the whole project. The predictive maintenance application we've been using, it absolutely has an impact on our bottom line. What we're able to do is empower our, our colleagues to spend 80% of their time addressing the problem as opposed to looking for them. This is where artificial intelligence comes in really handy.